my airlock has no activity. There's no bubbles in my airlock. My beer is not fermenting. Help! Hey guys, and welcome back to Northwest Small Batch Brewing. I'm Steven, uh, thanks for being here. So this is just a real quick video on uh, something that I've had happen in the past and I've seen, sometimes the question pops up here and there and forums and that sort of thing. So there's this huge misconception that if you don't see activity in your airlock, like bubbles, uh, that means your beer is not fermenting or whatever it is you're making is not fermenting that there's no activity something's wrong uh, That sort of thing I can tell you with almost a guarantee what the problem is if there's no activity in your airlock uh, Well two possibilities, but one is is just a much bigger potential than the other one possibility is uh, That the yeast is dead right if you're using a packet of yeast that you've had laying around for you know, a year or two years or whatever. Um, I mean, chances are it's probably still good. However, there is the very slim chance it's not. And that yeast has, you know, died. And um, the solution to that, of course, is pitch another packet of yeast. You know, if you don't see activity within, you know, 24 hours, pitch another packet of yeast. Um, however, I will tell you uh, I'm going to show you something here. So I just got this because um, this is going to be my, I don't know if you can see this. Hopefully I got this all on camera. This is going to be my bottling bucket. Um, I won't go into the details, but basically um, the, the fermenter that I use has a different size uh, spigot. And the tube that I can fit on that spigot is too big to fit into a beer bottle. So it's not really usable. For, for bottling in that sense. I had to use a siphon. So I got this guy because I can use a normal size tubing and that will go directly into a beer bottle and then I don't have to use a siphon. That's why I got this. Anyway, the point is, if you look at the lid on this sucker, and if you, and one reason I'm using this as an example is if you do your home brewing in a bucket or any kind of fermenter that has a lid that's wide, a wide lid like this, and not like your, you know, your old school, you know, glass carboys or whatever. Um, most of them are like this. They have, there's no seal, right? It's just, just um, plastic. Uh, also, it has this. Um, this is a really relatively newer version of um, using. Uh, instead of like a normal bung that you would use and uh, airlock, you use a grommet. Uh, two things. Number one is there's no seal on this. And also this grommet, in my um, estimation, tends to be a little loose. So if you have either of those types of things on your fermenter, most likely what's happened is the seal on it is so loose, it may not seem loose, but it's actually allowing the carbon dioxide to uh, get out of your bucket, even with a lid on it. Same thing could be happening through the grommet on the, on the top. In that case, you're still fermenting. 99% chance your, your beer or whatever you're making is still fermenting and is fine. It's just you're not going to see any activity in the airlock because uh, there's not a good enough seal. So you have two options moving forward. You can just accept that and you can do what we should be doing anyway, which is taking right a hydrometer reading at the beginning. And then, you know, a couple days later, if you take another hydrometer reading, it should have changed, right? If it's starting to ferment, the numbers will already start to change. If the reading is the same, then you know you have zero fermentation happening. And then you've got to go look at other things like maybe it's the yeast. 
But if you have a fermenter like this, I can almost guarantee the issue is not with the yeast, it's probably that it's just got a bad seal. I have two really nice uh, um, stainless steel fermenters um, that have the same problem. They, and they even have a silicone seal on their lid, and yet they still don't seal tight enough uh, to, make, to maintain you know, and get a, uh, any action going in the, in, the, um, in the airlock. Another solution, if that's really bothering you, is you can get some keg lube. So it, this is um, from Brewer's Edge. Um, I think I got this from Keg World maybe or something like that anyway. Uh, it says right here, waterproof food-based lubricant for kegs. Uh, keg lube, it's basically like a food grade uh, hydro, um, petroleum jelly. Uh, it doesn't take much. This stuff is unbelievably tacky or sticky. So when you put it on around the edge, do it very sparingly because, and try not to get it anywhere else because it really does stick and soap and water sometimes doesn't even like get it off, which is kind of the purpose. That's the whole point. But you just put a very thin layer and then when you put this lid on, that will seal it. That will give you the seal that you need uh, although the grommet hole here might st still be a problem, but as far as the lid goes, that will give you a good, good seal and you should start seeing activity in your airlock if you use a little bit of keg lube. In fact, I do that with my stainless steel uh, fermenters. Um, so, moral of the story is, make sure you take your gravity readings. That's how you're going to be able to tell whether there's any kind of change or whether it's actually fermenting is to use those gravity readings. If you're concerned and you really want to see that activity, put a little keg lube on the seal or around, you know, where the lid connects. Um, and then you should be fine. Also, as long as I'm on the subject before I sign off here, don't use activity in the airlock as a gauge for really anything. Um, you know, your fermentation, you'll usually be pretty uh, strong the first few days, like a lot of bubbling, and then it may slow down or, or basically stop and only bubble every now and then. Uh, that doesn't mean it's done fermenting. It just means like the main, main first few days of it are, are done. Also, uh, I don't want to go into in this video, but there's a reason why I let my beer ferment and sit in the fermenter for a full month before I do anything with it. Um, it gives a chance for the yeast that, uh, the yeast cake and everything on the bottom to reabsorb any off flavors. So it, just because it's done fermenting doesn't mean you should jump to removing it and bottling it or whatever to drink. In my opinion, it really, uh, like the, the, the best friend you can have when it comes to brewing is patience. Uh, don't jump the gun on that. Um, yeah, so don't, don't don't let the activity in an airlock determine to, to whether you know you're having any fermentation or whether it's you know ready to bottle. None of that. Nothing in the in the in the um, airlock can be used really as a gauge for for that sort of information. Uh, only the gravity readings can tell you that. So if you don't want to wait a full month, uh, I still think it's a good idea, but. Uh, take your readings, right? I mean, if you get the same gravity reading, um, say, two or three days in a row, then you can pretty much guarantee that fermentation is finished. Uh, that doesn't mean it won't continue to reabsorb off flavors, um, but the actual fermentation should be done at that point. If you see a change in the numbers, then it isn't done, and you got to let it go and uh, check it again later. So that's what I have for now. I hope that it helps if you're having any confusion or questions as to why you're not seeing any activity in your airlock, whether you should be worried about it, what you can do about it. Um, gravity readings, man, that'll, that'll give you peace of mind because you'll know whether anything's happening if those readings are changing. All right, well, listen, please uh, hit the like, the little thumbs up button, the bell icon uh, to like my page. Hit subscribe if you want to know when the next video is going to come out. I usually do weekly videos. Uh, you'll get a notification when I've done that. And um, thanks for stopping by. And uh, good luck with your next brew.
I'd like to hear about it. See you later.